I'm Josh Murdoch. I'm an instructional designer on the West Campus at Valencia College. Today, I want to cover how to do a course copy. This has changed over the last year, so I wanted to point out a couple key things that have changed and a couple helpful tips as you go along. Um, course copy is essential as you start each semester. You're most likely copying a course that you've already completed or uh, from a development space that you have. Um, so you might be copying a course from one semester to the next or also copying a development space into the next semester's courses. So I wanted to kind of go over some of the key points in that. So as I start out I could go into the course that I want to copy from. So this is your source course. Um, so if you're ready to copy a course you can click on that and it will take you into the course. Now what you're looking for is the course menu. You want to scroll down until you see the control panel. In the control panel you'll see packages and utilities. You'll click to expand packages and utilities and you'll see course copy. Now go ahead and click that link. This will take you to the course copy. Uh, this is where you can select where you want to copy it into. So it should give you copy course materials into existing course. What you want to do is go ahead and browse and find that course that you want to copy into. So as you see here, I have a very short list. Um, right here I have my development space I want to copy into. Say so if you had a larger list of courses, you could also search. Um, by CRN or course ID, something like that to be able to find the course. But since I already know my course, I'm going to go ahead and click my development space that I'm copying this course into. So this is the source course that I have already prepped and prepared and I'm copying into my blank course, a brand new course. Uh, one of the easy ways to copy everything would be to do the select all button that's here. Now select all, select all your content areas, all your rules, all your settings. Um, notice under settings a little farther down it doesn't select availability, um, duration, course enrollment options, things like that. Um, this selects everything that you have access to actually copy over. You are not able to change certain functions so that's why you are not able to copy these settings. If you do you select one of these it will give you an error when you try to copy so I wanted to point that out for some reason if you did not want to copy certain parts over or certain sections like you didn't want to copy any of your announcements over you could unclick those if you're unsure about any of these options what to uncheck if you don't want to just copy it fully over please talk with one of your instructional designers online help or someone in the Center for Teaching and Learning Innovation as you see here, the third step has become really important. And we've had certain courses that have grown in size and kind of uncontrollable file manager file manager. So one of the things you can do is click calculate size. Now when you calculate size, you notice my course is fairly small. It's not too bad. If it was over this one gigabyte package size, it, it would be red and warn you. Now if it was over for some reason, um, I would probably want to contact someone to get some help. Or you can also go into this manage package content. Sometimes courses have copied over import files over and over again. If you wanted to remove um, certain items from your copy, you could go manage package content and it would bring up another screen where you could actually select things to remove from the copy. So you could go show all and see all the folders. So you notice these blank folders, import folders I have? Well, they could have tons and tons of megabytes. They could have gigabytes of information in. If I don't need those, if those folders are just kind of blank folders that have been imported over over time, um, I might want to delete those. So I have all my other files here. I don't need those folders. I'm going to go ahead and see how it says remove them. Now my size didn't change because those folders were blank, but if you had um, lots of gigabytes of information in, it could change your size here, your current cur course size of the course package. So I'm going to remove those folders. If you're unsure, like I said, please talk with someone, instructional designer, or online help, and we can guide you through the process. You never have to select include enrollments. Remember, enrollments is automatic with us at Valencia College. So you don't have to include enrollments. You never want to click that or worry about copying that over. And really, the next step would be just to submit. So if you're ready to copy, um, everything's done that you wanted to, 
you can go submit. Now notice up top it does say this was successful. Of course copy action queued and an email will be sent when this process is complete. This is key. Do not start this process again for that exact same course you want to copy into. So uh, wait for that email queue. If for some reason after several hours if you haven't got an uh, email about it please contact us at online help at valenciacollege.edu or um, it, you don't want to start that process again because it's probably already waiting in the queue. So um, you, most likely it should just take a few minutes, but depending on how many courses are being copied, how big it, is, how busy it is for the beginning of a semester, um, courses could be in that queue for a while. So just let you know. Now, if you see a red error, there's probably something wrong before you send this. So just to let you know, um, this is what's happening. So if I go back to home. You'll see that right now, under that course I'm copying, it does say that it is running. So that course copy is running. Its source course was my original course I clicked into, and then its destination is this new course, and is running right now. So as I'm waiting for it, um, I'm waiting for this email to come through saying it's completed and there was no problems with it. Now one of the other things you might want to check is, is when you go into the course, you might see things that are already there. So you have your quick setup guide because it's a brand new course I haven't been in before. Um, I can go ahead and hide this setup guide if I don't need it. And then I'll see at top it has that orange letting you know um, that it's running that course copy. So that orange banner saying it's running that course copy, don't worry about it right now, let it run. Um, so like, a, wait for that email before you proceed too much further um, into anything with that course. Now, once that course copy is done, um, you're able to clean up this course menu. So that's something you could do prior to copying the course. You could go in there and clean up that menu of that brand new course. Um, but right now, I went ahead and copied it. So if it copied over, you might want to start cleaning up. If you don't use groups, you could go ahead and hide or delete that. Um, if you need to move things around, you could go ahead and decide what you want to move around. So if you want to change your um, orientation week info and make sure it's up at the top, um, you want to get it in the order that you want. So that's something to be aware of. If you're wondering some other tips and ideas about course copy or any issues you have, please let us know and we'll try to help you through that process, especially if you're getting that course that's over in size. So remember, wait for that email and then proceed. So if you have any questions, please contact us, um, one of our instructional designers on your campus or online help at valenciacollege.edu.